All right, y'all. So, uh, we got to stop for today. This is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Post construction house cleaning. Man, I, I've been lucky to hit three of these this week. <laughs> and, and I'm not saying lucky like I like to do them, but lucky like I don't, I don't get it that often. Now, I do want to show you guys one thing. You guys have seen it in some videos, but my little duster. Um, the particular, this particular home is like extra dusty. So, um, if you look down, you can see where there's super dust. It's kind of hard, but it's all over, man. Let's see if we can do this. You see what I'm saying? So, and this customer, he wants pretty much everything dusted. So he's looking at the walls. Um, he's just like, you know, need you to dust those. The floor, I can feel all the dust on the floor, even through my shoes. So I have a couple of these. Uh, I stay ready. So we got three of them. Oh no, customers here, so I'm gonna stop recording real quick. So yeah, anyway, he just he just cut. He had to uh, take a picture of a uh, the um, the house just got uh, what do you I guess fumigated for termites. Um, so they had the house uh, covered today. Uh, anyway, so let's look up in here. You can see like stuff on the on the mirror, bathrooms. I mean the uh, shower. Some more dust, dusty. You see all that dust? So basically that dust is everywhere. So I'm gonna dust the walls. He wants the walls dusted. The uh, baseboards, like we usually do. So I'm gonna go through and hit that up. The... Y'all know I always gotta do a mid, mid wipe of the lens on y'all. We got a pretty dirty Refrigerator. But you know, it's nothing. We'll take care of it. I mean, it's something. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll take care of it. We got the dust up there. So all this stuff has to just be dusted. Uh, then we go over here. We got another bathroom. You can see like the, the edge right there is dusty. I'm assuming that might be a uh, like some scratches, I don't know. I don't know what anything is until I touch it. And even then, sometimes I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, over here, it's like, this is like a weird house, I ain't gonna lie. You got one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, on one side of the house. Look at that window. These people, uh, <laughs> can you see that? These people done spray painted the window, man. Didn't even cover the window. See what kind of people you guys get? 
That's so annoying. Look at this. But yeah, man, that's, that's so annoying. Let me see. All right, man, let me just, let me bring in the rest of the stuff. Uh, just a couple things, but. It's annoying. <laughs> How people can just come out here and, and leave a mess like that and don't even clean it up and then they expect us to do it. Catch you in a second. This is about to be changed right here, my billboard. So I think when we come back from Vegas, I'm gonna take care of it. But it's, gonna, it's pretty much gonna be similar, just different wordage. All right, y'all. See, y'all can see that dust right there, right? So, we do have a lot of dust on these mirrors. Um, and then when we open this here, and look at this. Come on, man. So what I'll do is I'll have, um, Maybe the vacuum to clean this up a little bit. But I'll see it. And then, so the reason why this is like a tedious task is because, well, for one, you always want to start at the top because you're going to get that stuff to, <laughs> to fall down. Yeah, someone put their footprint on that. But, um,. Always start at the top. Just want to show you that. And this is like the first step. So you gotta sit there and, and dust it. And work your way down like so. Then Then what you can do is you can uh, come with a, a damp rag and, and wipe it down. So this is going to be like this in every room. All right, so this uh, put my cleaner on there. Now I can come through and wipe it down. I'm so I'm so big in here and this. There's a good enough amount of room. I'm just, I mean, I'd be taking up space. But all of this stuff needs to be wiped down. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can see where you missed. So I'm not gonna, I don't know. I've showed you guys a couple already, um, post-construction cleanings. This is like the worst of them that I've had um, a million times, a million uh, percent sure that there, there's worse, but you uh, charge accordingly. And, you know, make it worth, worth your day. For me, I do, when it comes to house cleanings, I do one a day um, because it's it's me by myself. Even if it was a couple of us or maybe a few of us, I mean, it still takes some time. Um, and I, I feel like when it's more people cleaning your home, things are missed um, just because... I don't know, well at least in, in 
when I had employees, things were missed sometimes. You know, I think that's just the nature of it, but I really like it this way, like having it one person, at least me cleaning. Uh, when we scale up, uh, we'll definitely address, we'll be able to address the situations that uh, we've seen arise so so yeah you can see all that so even though i dusted it you, i'm still getting stuff off of there and this is um i sprayed my uh cleaner on here and i'm just wiping it down it's not like damp or nothing i mean it's not a wet surface like too wet but it's just enough and that's what when he asked about the floors you know how he was like how do you clean the floor like what will you do and i said really we take a a, a flat mop um I, I well i told him i have a couple of different ways i can use my vacuum because my vacuum has the rollers on it the fabric roller because it's the shark duo and it will dust it as it goes but um I said that's one option, but I do have the other option, which is a flat mop with a microfiber on it. And I can mist the uh, microfiber. Um, that way it picks up the dirt like this. And you can see it works. It'll be the same, you know, same situation. And you can see where we missed, you know, we didn't get these yet. So it's picking it up. You just. You know, you just need to have a little bit of a solution on there. That way it's, it's able to, uh, microfiber is good, but you, you really want it. So it actually cleans it as it goes and it, it, uh, uh, pulls the dirt even more, the dust. All right, y'all. So this room is also done. So we did two rooms so far. Um, I just wanted to do a test run and see what I pick up on the floor. <laughs> and I didn't really I wasn't thinking about a video on it I really was just in the in the groove of uh, of cleaning so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to this side over here and I'm gonna show you what's happening all right so this is the product I use for the uh, floor it is a neutral cleaner if you like, you can uh, go to that website right there, and then you guys, <laughs> you guys can see uh, uh, where to buy it and how to get it. <laughs> so uh, you seen it was clean. The back of it's dirty, or the tail end. So I'm just going to come in here. Let me switch hands now the reason why I like doing it like this is because it cleans as it's picking up all this little dust and, and dirt it's uh, uh, clinging the, uh, the, uh, the dust and dirt that's what I meant to say, not clean. It's, it's, I mean, of course it's clean, but it's clinging the, uh, For the other room and then this one so I know y'all heard my stomach growling I don't know if you heard it but it's rumbling <laughs> it's uh I'm gonna have to door dash me something just because this is like a uh, this is a house I I want to get done I don't want to be BS so you see how it didn't, that dust and dirt didn't come off until I, you know, dropped it on the floor. All 
Um, so yeah, so that's two rooms. And then after I'm done with everything, I'll go back through really fast and wipe everything down again, just to make sure I got everything. So I'm really not trying to show you guys the same thing over and over again, like some of these other YouTube channels. I'm also showing you real life situations. I'm not picking up dirty area rugs off the street that you find in the dumps and just making a, a YouTube video for, for the heck of it. These videos are for one, the biggest thing is they're for my potential customers to watch. And then whoever's watching them on YouTube. So yeah, so that's how we do it. And I'll show you the uh, next step in a second if I can. See how I can set you up. All right. I got the window open, there's a fly in here. And he's like at the uh, window, like the glass. <laughs> like, dude, it's open. So that's how we do it, man. I don't know how you guys do it. All right there, folks. So if we look at this window really, really closely, you can see the difference. I haven't cleaned the outside, so that's the stuff that you're seeing. Um, 
I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. Um, just an update, this bathroom is done. You can see how uh, everything's looking good. I just gotta rinse out that uh, sink because I was using it for uh, to rinse off my uh, my towels. So you can use whatever you like. This is the glass cleaner I use, um, and we can see that it comes off. But you kind of gotta just go like this. This is so you don't get a whole bunch of stuff on your Jeez, one of those. So spray down your window. It's a white pad. You can even see that they left their their blade there. Some of these companies you guys use, man. So professional. <laughs> I'm actually right-handed, but I'm gonna try this with my left. Same deal. And one thing I will say about my glass cleaner, is there ain't that much in there. <laughs> like you got maybe this much of water and then the rest is, is glass cleaner. When I had when I had my uh, my employees, my my uh, house cleaning employees, I tried to get them to use this, and they shut it down. I'm like, how come everything that works for me don't work for y'all? I mean, I I I get it, man. I I get it a little bit, <laughs> but I but I don't. So it's like. Everything that I that I use is tried and true. I use it in my house and it works. It's safe. Gotta watch out with these. So that's pretty much it, man. I'm gonna do these, this one here, do that. And then I'm gonna go and hit my 7-Eleven break and, and get me some uh, some water and possibly oh snaps possibly uh, I don't know something else whatever I can find out there real fast I just really got one bathroom and one bedroom and then the kitchen. All right, y'all. Look at this one. I can't really see. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> I was up here dusting this, and then I found this up here. Just another another uh, thing that they don't. You know what I'm saying? They don't double check themselves.
That's why it's so dusty. Come on. I didn't I didn't uh, tell you why it's so dusty, but they use a, a spray gun. <laughs> so the spray gun is going to give you good coverage, but you got to cover everything. If you don't, then guess what? We're going to be in this situation. So what happens is your uh, um, aer aerosolizing all the paint and it's getting all over the place. So everything that I'm cleaning up, everything on the windows, everything that's just super dusty is all paint. That's it's it's dried in the air as it's as it's you know traveling down, and it's just sitting on top of everything. So that's pretty much what's going on. All right, y'all. So pretty much did all the bedrooms, all the bathrooms. Oh, well, I'm working on the last bathroom, uh, and then I just got the kitchen. What I did here, and this is what I did in each bathroom, is I sprayed it down with my cleaner and then I'm just wiping it down. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing special to it. You thought I was going to say something crazy? Everything must be wiped because if not, you're going to see it. This is how I did each one. Then we get in the basin. Someone scratched it. I knew those were scratches. Sorry for all the moving. all the dirt well then I just come back and just rinse her off ain't nothing special start from the top and work your way down This is cleaning a shower 101. Something your mama should have taught you. <laughs> or your daddy. And that's really it. I mean, the product works very well that I use. If there's a lot of soaps coming, it takes a little longer. But that's it. And then I'm going to go and just wipe the sides. All right, y'all. Everything is all done. You can see it is nighttime outside. It did take me a while, man. I mean, there's really no way around it inside and outside of the windows 
um, fully inside of the uh, refrigerator. And that's taking everything out of there, you know. Pulled, pulled out the refrigerator, got up top. Thing was super dusty, got all the counters, all the, uh, the cabinets, inside and outside. Everything was painted, even these, so that's why it's so dusty everywhere. I mean, dude painted the walls, painted uh, the cabinets, everything. And just spray like he don't care. <laughs> so, um, I'm just mopping this little area and that's it. Customer already paid. Um, he's kind of asking like, you know, are you done? What's taking so long? <laughs> but. Yeah, you know, I got to, I got to, got to do what I got to do. I can't just, you know, I can't just uh, half-ass it. Um, you know, we don't get paid by the, by the hour, so I'm not just taking my time. We do get paid by the job. And typically, um, we like to be, we average, I guess you could say, uh, I, I, I really don't want to say, but we we average a really good hourly, if you think about it. But with this particular, um, well, he did tip, so I guess I got it. I got my uh, my hourly that I like, but some you know I like to be oops I like to be over it if I could. Um, all of this has been done. Anyway, I'm about to just leave it here just so I can finish this and I don't have to uh, have the customer, you know, worrying. Appreciate y'all. Y'all know who it is. It's Daryl, D West Enterprise. And it's D West for life, y'all. Peace.